Hello everybody, welcome back to Jeff's Computer Service on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to install Arc Linux on your Promox server. For those that do not know, Promox is an open source program. Well, in this case, it's an open source hypervisor that you can install for free of use. There is also a license, but if you, get, if you want to use this for personal use, that's fine too. You can go to the download link here, click this file, and install it. Same goes for our Linux distro. It's also free. You can just go here and download it here. The recommended site, a magnet link or a turret link. So let's go ahead and get started with the installation of our Linux on your Promox server. <clears throat> so first up, what you need to do is you need to transfer the ISO image to your Promox server. So first thing that you're going to do is going to go local, go to ISO images, and from here you're going to click on upload. From upload, you're going to select file and you're going to browse for it on your computer. In my case, I have mine on the desktop. I'm going to wait for this to load. Okay, and mine should be here with Arc Linux. Here it is. Open that up and upload it. So this is just going to take a few seconds here. As you can see, the file size for the image is 1.09 gigs. So I'm just waiting for this to upload. Just give it a few more, a few seconds. It should be done. Once it says test OK, we should be good. Just get that a few seconds. Still here, you can see here, still loading. It's almost done. Any minute now. See, it's a few more seconds. Okay, this might take a little longer than usual. So I'm going to just uh, fast forward. Oh, never mind. There it is. Test OK. Okay, so it's right here, our Linux. Now that you already have the ISO on your Promox server, just go to create a virtual machine, BM, from here on, the, on your right side. From there, you're going to give it a name. I'm going to keep it simple. Arc Linux. Now just click on Next or OS. Here, click the OS image. In my case, Arc Linux. And in, in here, you can actually leave this the same, same as that, the same. You don't need to change anything there. Next. Everything else here can remain the same. Now just click on Next. Onto this, if you want to add another drive, you can do that. But in here, I'm going to leave it all the same. And let's just keep it for the demonstration. I'm going to give it 60 gigs. Click on Next. Course, let's just give it to. I'm not really actually gonna use this. This is just mostly demonstration to just installing it. Now, as for RAM, actually, that's enough. So let's just give it four just in case, even though recommended is two. The last time I saw it on the website, network, yes, you give it network. From there, just click on finish. That's going to pop up here. Just give that a few seconds. You should be seeing the name. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just start it up. Now it should start up the ISO. I'll just put this in full screen. Okay, there it is. Just click on the first one. Enter. I'm actually put this in console screen so I can see it entirely. Here it is. Now, this is going to take a few seconds. I'm going to wait for this to load. I'm going to fast forward this part. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now we can see that we're in the login page of the ISO image of Arc Linux. Now, from here, um, on the recommendation installation guide, it does say to ping first to see if you have network. It should be connected to the network since I didn't disconnect it. It should already have network. 
Okay, there we go. We have reply from Google. Perfect. Let's cancel that out. Now I do have here a list of commands. But we're just gonna follow all of these commands and nothing else needs to be changed. Oops. Let's just leave that like that. So I know what I'm typing. So we're just gonna do the first one. Uh, update packages. Pacman dash capital S Y so click enter there shouldn't be any packages updated okay so we have like one or two they're updated now next command this we're going to check card connected this we should be able to see the 60 gigs uh virtual disk that I made here on Promox let's just put this command to open it up there it is, the SDA, 60 gigs disk. It ceases right there, that's perfect. Now we're gonna format this disk so we can so we can use it. And we're going to be using GDisk for this. And since our default disk, in my case, is SDA. So in my case, it's gonna be GDisk slash dev slash SDA. Depending on your disk, it could be SDA 1 or 2. My case is that. So we should click on Next. And from here, we're going to press X. It's going to give us like an advanced option. And from here, we're going to insert C to begin erasing everything. About to wipe out GPT on dev slash SDA. Proceed. Yes, please. Now again, blank out MDR, yes please. And there it is, that's done. Now we're going to add a key ring on this. The command would be pacman slash capital S Y R Linux slash key ring. Enter. Yes to proceed. Now we just give that a few seconds. Okay, that's done. Perfect. Now we're going to verify the process again. Pack man S capital S Y Arc Linux. Whoops, I made a mistake here. Arc install my bad yes again okay and there that's install now we're going to open up the setup page of arc linux so we can actually start installing it so just type in arc linux oops my bad i meant arc install get confusing with the name okay and there we go we have the setup page here now this is perfect this is what we need okay and from here we're just going to select our language you can later leave it that the same if it's english but just click enter tell you what language you want that's available english Locals, that would be your keyboard. You can leave that default if you want to change it. Down below, you can see US is already selected. In this configuration, we're just going to click partitioning. Use as best effort default partitioning layout. Now, click the correct this. In this case, would be this one the dev SDA one pad. 60, 60 gigs select that now click pick the first option btrfs enter and yes we would like to use that as well want to use compression yes please and there we have it that's all set up you can see already what we did it's right here it's gonna go click on back Bootloader, you can just leave it default. You really have to change it, so just leave it out of grub. 
host name, you can actually change this for the host name of the computer once it you can actually see it on your local network. For the demonstration, I must just name it test Linux. Really, you don't have to change it, you can just leave it like that. Root password, we do need to change this, so I put a password here. You're typing it down, but you won't see anything being typed in. So once you type down the password, just click enter. Now type it again to confirm. It might you might get the message the saying password string is very weak. That's fine. Not really worry about that part. But it tells you that you are typing, even though if you're not typing anything. User account. Now here we want to add a user. So once we actually boot up the system. You can log into that user. If you don't make a user, you're gonna boot up the system without a user. So you're not gonna be able to log in if there is no user. So let's just add a user. I'm gonna just put my name for the username. There we go. Now a password for it. Perfect. Should the user be super user pseudo? Yes, he should. Now that's done. Confirm and exit from here. Now audio server. I don't really use this, but supposedly Pywire is the best one to use. So just use Pywire. Additional packages. From here, if you want to install anything additional before you actually install the system, you can actually just type in the package here. If not, just leave it blank and you just, just skip it out. Just enter. Network configuration. This would be uh, the time. The, the time zone similarity. So for the network management, uh, I'm sorry, the network configuration, all you need to choose is yes, use network manager. And that's it. Now we're missing one thing and that would be the profile. Here, we're going to click on the type. We want the desktop profile. We want the graphical UI interface and everything. So desktop. And for the best one, I think in my opinion, would be KDE Plasma environment. Pick that one. There we go. Now for graphics driver, if you have NVIDIA, you pick NVIDIA AMD AMD. In our case, since we have a virtual machine in this case, you can actually use VMware or VirtualBox. It should work the same. I actually never tried it like this before because I'm not actually focused on playing games on this. Mostly it's just more like office work. So you could, I must just try it like this, but it should work either way if it doesn't. Now let's just click back on that. Kernel, you can leave this all the same if you want to. Time zone, that time zone is correct for me. I would need to change that. Repositories, you can also add those two as well. Now, besides that, you don't need to change anything else. Now, let's just click on install. You're gonna see a description of everything that was done here if you wanna change anything. Now, just Press enter to continue. Now formatting in three, two, one, and there it is. It's being created everything. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. This is going to take a little while. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna fast forward right here. Be right back. Okay guys, we're almost done here. It should be already halfway. I'm gonna just go back and fast forward this. Okay guys, and there we have it. Uh, it's already done. We can actually go into the console one more time if we actually wanna make a change or anything. In my case, I'm not gonna do that. So I must just click on no, or you can just click escape to skip this part. Okay, installation complete. Well, any errors, you may now reboot. Perfect. So I'm gonna close this out. Okay, now that I closed that part out, I must just shut down the, the machine. 
Now what I'm going to do here is on the hardware part, I'm going to take off the ISO. So for whatever reason, it doesn't boot up automatically from the ISO. And then we want it to boot up immediately from the hard disk that we already made here. So I'm going to remove that. Yes, please. Now we're going to go back to the console and we're going to start it up again. Now it should already automatically boot up to the console. There it is, Arc Linux. Stop, uh, click on Arc Linux. Open up the console here with the full view. Now we're just going to wait for a few more minutes on this part. It should already boot up with the login page. Ah, there we have it. So you have officially installed Arc Linux on your Promox server. Let's just try to log in for the first time. Okay, it's loading up. Let's just give that a few seconds. Okay. Whoa. Did okay. I think it crashed on me. No, no. Okay, no. For whatever reason, it's glitching out here. Let's put it here. Okay, perfect. Now you can see, guys. You can actually close this out. We don't need to see that part. And but yeah, guys. Here we go. We already have it set up here. For whatever reason, if anybody has any issues with this, the installation was not correct or whatever reason it did not work correctly on your side, please leave a comment below. And for others mentioning that this is a very uh, difficult OS to install, the way that I'm trying to install it is basically I'm trying to put this as simple as possible for people that just want to do a quick install at the most basic, if they don't want something very advanced, they really just want to install it and just use it for their own personal use. Unless if you want to use it for business, that also works as well. But I'm just trying to show the easiest method that I found out that you can actually install it and use it for whatever reason that you want to use it for. Well, guys, that basically is it for Arc Linux here. Again, if you have any issues that didn't work out for you properly, or something happened, an error on your Promox side, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Have a good one.